I'm Charlie and this is Archie's Kitchen and Cocktail Bar. I opened this place five years ago with my wife Juno. We specialise in crafted mixology and the British and American soul food. We use only good products in everything we do and we have a real passion for food and cocktails. I've got three cocktails to show you today. One is a classic adaptation, the second is one of our own creations and the third is an absolute classic. The first one is a cranberry bellini. Everyone knows what a bellini is, but this one's a bit more festive. And as cranberries are in season right now, why not use them? Archer's has its own cranberry sauce we make ourselves, made from Gina's mother's old recipe. We like to try and make as much of the ingredients in our recipes as we can. One top tip would be to always ice your glass. Make sure the cocktail stays colder for longer and we can have a nice chill when you drink it. I'm going to take a mixing tin, add one spoonful be as much as a teaspoon of cranberry sauce. One single shot of Crane's liqueur, cranberry liqueur. This is made by two brothers in Cambridge who also make a cranberry cider. One shot of 25 mils. To make it extra cold and mix it together, we're going to add ice and shake up for a few seconds. Tip out the ice. Strain the mixture of both ingredients into the glass and simply top with Prosecco. Okay, for our second cocktail, we've got the Going Nuts. This is a great indulgent, creamy cocktail for Christmas, guaranteed to please anyone with a sweet tooth. Uh, again, always ice your glass. We're gonna take a shaker. I'm going to pour two shots of peanut butter washed rum. Uh, what we do is we spread peanut butter out on a pan. We pour the Havana special rum over the top, let it soak overnight, and it infuses and uh, latches all the flavor onto the rum with the peanut butter. It smells beautiful, tastes delicious. So two shots of this. We've got vanilla sugar syrup. This is simple syrup, it's just water, sugar, makes it more soluble in the cocktail. We want to have 20 mils of this. Mozart white chocolate liqueur. This is very nice. It's actually very nice just on ice. And last ingredient is 50 milliliters or a double shot of uh, whole milk. Add ice all over the top, and again, shake. Good way to tell if it's done is if the mixing tin starts to ice up on the outside. That means it's cold enough. Get rid of the ice. I'm gonna double strain so we can catch any little shards of ice inside. And just to top it off, we've got some peanut butter brittle. Which we invite on the meat. Okay, for the last cocktail, we have a good old fashioned espresso martini. This is a great cocktail for a good pick me up after lunch. A good alternative, boozy alternative to a, a double espresso. Start with shaker once again. We use a vanilla infused vodka. You can buy flavoured vodka quite easily if you didn't want to infuse it, but we prefer to infuse it because it gives a more enriched flavour. Double shot of vanilla vodka. Kahlua coffee liqueur. Uh, everybody knows what, what Kahlua is. A single shot of that. And vanilla sugar, 20 mils. 
and a very large double espresso. Ice at the top. And you're going to want to shake this as vigorously as you can. Into the ice out. Double strain to catch that ice. You know it's good when it's really velvety and fluffy. For the garnish, just a couple of coffee beans and a drizzle of cream. There you have it, an espresso martini. Thanks for coming by and why not come and see us again to see our wider range of cocktails on an ever-changing seasonal menu. Have a little food for dinner or lunch or breakfast. Thanks again, bye.